Hello everybody, my name is Gustavo from copahost.com. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to approach the fix for the error VR file not found opening image file. This error message is just like a child error that happens in the, let's call the error family, failure to open a session for the virtual machine. Whenever you have this error, in 90% of the times, the reason is the file not being in the desired folder. So we're just going to explain the most common error that is VR file not found. Other errors inside this family, let's call this way, may have other fixes, other reasons. In this video, I'm going to explain the most common reason for this issue. So, um, first of all, we have the virtual box running. We have some already installed uh, virtual machines here. And um, we're going to test this Fedora 36, which is a Fedora Linux distribution. So, first of all, I'm going to reproduce this error. So, I'm going to click start, that's it, uh, the screen opens and uh, it like blinks and then we get this error, uh, failure to open a session for the virtual machine. This, this fix is quite simple, uh, it's related to the location of the file. This can work either if you have a Windows virtual machine, if you have a CentOS, an Ubuntu, any virtual machine basically, so not only Fedora, okay? So, the first thing you have to do is, uh, in this error message, click details. Right now in this box, just read to understand why do you get this error. And uh, this way it will be easier to approach the, the, so the, the, the fix for this. It's quite easy, it's not a problem. Okay, so let's read the message. First, uh, fail to open a session for the virtual machine, in my case, in my example, Fedora 36. Then, could not open the medium then the path for the VDI file. Basically this error means can locate the VDI file. What's a VDI file? It's a virtual disk image file from VirtualBox. So basically each virtual system is a VDI file, okay? So in my example, uh, my Fedora 36 here is a VDI file. My Alma Linux is a different VDI file in a different folder. My Nitrox is a different VDI file. Okay, so let's continue to read the error. Okay, so uh, VD, error, VR, file not found, opening image file. Now the path, the location, okay, of the image file. VR, file not found. Then right under, result code, a fail, OX, 8000, 4005 component medium wrap interface i medium okay this is the error message so uh, first of all what you have to do is try to find this file here okay so let's try to copy this path i'm going to copy now i'm going to windows explorer i'm going to paste here so Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so uh, let's see if we are in the right location. So, C users, HP, VirtualBox, VMs, and in my example, Fedora 36. Just repeating, uh, you can, this works either with Windows or Ubuntu, any virtual machine. So, uh, I'm in the right folder, okay, they're looking for the right folder, and uh, VirtualBox is looking for this file, fedora36.vdi. So, this file isn't here, it doesn't exist here, so, to fix this issue, uh, fail to open a session for the virtual machine, basically I have to place the file here. Normally, why does this issue happen? Maybe if you migrated, if you transferred your system, if you formatted your PC, maybe if you copied the folder with the virtual box to another location, maybe if you had the, your virtual machine in a different hard drive, okay? So, this happens often. Okay, so what happened here? Uh, in my example, I have my transferred my virtual machine from one folder to another folder. The old folder, for instance, was in a different hard drive. What you have to do is to open the folder, the, the old folder, with the VDI file. Let's do it here. So this is my folder. So uh, my old folder was this one in the left. 
while the official folder of VirtualBox is here. Basically, this issue has two fixes. First of all, I'm going to show you how to transfer the VDI file from one location to another one. So, in my left, I'm going to the, the old folder where the VDI file is present here with the red icon, the VDI file, fedora36.vdi and uh, on the right, the empty folder without the VDI file. So, um, let's just close the error message. Here, in your main screen of your virtual machine, you can just see all the information, just like processors, display, controllers. Uh, we can just confirm here, under SATA port 0, the file name. So, the file name must be exactly this one, Fedora space 36.vdi, or any file name with the virtual machine name. So, let's fix this issue. What I'm going to do, the first fix is, I'm going to copy uh, this VDI file to here, to the correct folder. Okay, perfect, so the file is copied and uh, now we should be able to run the virtual machine. So, let's click Start. Now the virtual machine opened, the error is fixed the Fedora system Linux is booting. Okay, so the virtual machine was working normally. Okay, I'm able to access the, the operating system, so I'm going to close it and show you the second possible fix for this issue. So it was the first and the most common fix for this issue. For instance, another possible fix for this. Maybe you, if you have renamed the virtual machine, if you had the virtual machine in a node PC with a different name, for instance, let me try to rename this file. So, just as an example, so I'm going to rename it as Fedora Old Linux. Okay, so just keep in mind, uh, our virtual box have this as the virtual machine name, Fedora36.vdi, and in fact, the existing file in our local storage is Fedora Old Linux.vdi. So, there are different names. Okay, so let's try again. Now we should have the error again. Okay, the same error happens. Fail to open a session for the virtual machine. So let's open again the message. Uh, if you check here, uh, could not open the medium with the location. VD error, VR file not found, open image file. E fail, result code. So the second possible fix for this error is pointing to a different name as a VDI file. So you have to right click here on the VDI name now choose a disk file so i'm going to select the new disk file here okay i have just renamed it to this so so this is the fix for this issue thanks for watching virtualbox is a very uh complete solution it's a very easy to use software um you have a full control over your virtual machines here i really love this application so Fixing this error is quite easy, it's just about the location of your VDI file. You have just to find your old VDI file location, then copy to your folder, and then you are good to go. Thanks for watching, just subscribe to our channel, and if you like it, just give a like to this video, and that's it, see you next time, bye bye.